in the last stream, uh, we were working on a couple of things. We set up a wither spawning and killing system. There were a few minor hiccups along the way, getting things off the ground. I may or may not have flooded the base with withers and caused quite a bit of damage, but I have fixed it since the end of the last stream. It's now all under control. I've even duplicated the system that we set up in the last stream here. So we've now got two withers spawning uh, simultaneously on each side uh, of this little room here. And if we head on inside, I'll show you what I've done uh, to kind of fix it up. I've also kind of cleaned this area out a little bit. It's no longer just stone randomly broken to make things fit. Uh, the cables are still a little bit of a mess, but they're less messy than they were before. I've tried to tidy it up just a little bit. Um, and so over here, um, at the end of the last stream, I turned these off, essentially. I just turned them off and left them there. What I've done since then I've, is I've put down a, a timer. The timer is currently set to 30 ticks. Now, that might seem quite fast. That's like just over a second um, per activation. But I was surprised to learn that it's not like when you turn the lever on, it doesn't automatically, or when you give it a redstone signal, it doesn't automatically just place down a whole wither. Instead, it kind of fills up a little bit of this uh, work buffer here. You'll see it says every 40 ticks. And so giving it just a little redstone pulse, you'll see this thing gives out like a tiny little redstone pulse. Giving it just a redstone pulse fills up a tiny little bit of this energy buffer here. And so it doesn't automatically place a wither down uh, when that happens. And so uh, this number here does need to be lower than the time you want between withers. Otherwise it takes forever to wither to spawn. Uh, but nevertheless, this thing I think is working. Yeah, we just need uh, more wheat and the wheat is still coming in uh, quite slowly. I mean, it's coming in, I think fairly quick, but just, I guess, not fast enough. There's probably a way we can speed this up in the future. But for now, this is working just fine. There are no problems with it. It's spawning uh, two withers uh, all the time, which is quite nice. If we head on up uh, to the top of the base here and we look inside of the end chest, which connected up uh, to that wither spawning system, you'll see we're right now uh, just under three stacks of nether stars, which is Pretty cool. We've also got a lot of Supremium Essence, which I didn't know you got from the Wither, uh, but it's really nice to have. Nonetheless, it's going to make getting some of those higher tier um, seeds really nice and easy to get as well, which is quite nice. Um, and then finally, in the end of last stream, we uh, were working on trying to set up uh, and trying to get the Awakened Draconium Chicken from Roost. We finally managed to get there. It took way too freaking long for that to happen, but we got it. Finally, and now it is producing uh, these Awakened Draconium Nuggets. We have got, I think, quite a lot. We've got 2,146 Awakened Draconium Nuggets, uh, which will translate into quite a lot of blocks. Also, uh, now that we've got the chicken, all we have to do is uh, grab our acceleration wand and then just shift right click with this. You'll see at the top there, the progress goes crazy whenever you do that. So we can really just get as many of these as we want anytime we want, which is quite nice. And since the end of the last stream, uh, I've gone ahead and bred all of the kind of core chickens that I thought we could use. I bred those up uh, to 10, 10, 10s as well. We've got draconian chickens, we've got uh, enderpearl chickens, uh, blaze chickens, redstone chickens, slime chickens, and nether quartz chickens. Uh, those are all pumping out uh, into these drawers down here. Uh, so if we need any of those, those are all ready to go as well, which is quite nice. But anyway, now that we've got uh, <laughs> the freaking Enderman, uh, now we've got Awakened Draconian, we can actually start working towards getting into a little bit of Project E. Specifically, um, I would like to start by trying to get the Energy Condenser, right? This guy right here. The reason we're going to start with the Energy Condenser is because the Transmutation Tablet, which is uh, just objectively better, is also ridiculously expensive, um, or at least a little bit more expensive. It's actually not that crazy, this recipe. I think we will be able to do it um, within the next few streams. But the energy condenser is definitely within our grasp. So to get this, we need to get a couple of things, right? First of all, we need all of the items listed here. We need four red matter, four dark matter, one dirt chest 9000, and one crystal chest. The dirt chest 9000 is an odd inclusion, uh, but should be the easiest of the ingredients to make. Uh, the hardest part here is going to be the dark matter and the red matter, which require the philosopher's stone. To make that, we need two glowstone, three blocks of redstone, two diamond blocks, one emerald blocked, and then the hardest part is the ender star, requiring a prismarine shard, which should be fairly easy to get. I think you can do it with the atomic reconstructor. You can, and a little bit of nether the quartz uh, not too bad either my atomic reconstructor is behind the wall here and so i am gonna have to do like a little bit of uh moving I, I didn't move my atomic reconstructor before i set all of this stuff up and so i think if i'm not mistaken it's still like right there it is okay so it's probably gonna be easier if i just break like this for the time being i should really just give it its own space but for now at least what we can do is just grab uh, a little bit of nether quartz throw it down onto the pressure plate and that should get us hopefully uh, just a stack of Prismarine? Do I need to take like the lens off, maybe? We've got that rainbow lens on right now. I guess I do. Like that. Nice. It didn't get as quite... Ooh, I can't, can't get that. It didn't quite get as a full stack, but you know, three is fine. I think the energy cost must be a bit high, which is why that's not uh, 
not giving me as much as I'd like. And also this thing uh, does fill up quite quickly. So we do need to make sure we get that back in there uh, nice and fast. Um, so that's easy enough to get, right, for the uh, energy condenser here. Let me head back, condenser, this guy. Um, but yeah, the harder part of the Philosopher's Stone is... We've got the Nether Star, we've got the Black Quartz, we've got the Prism Ring Chart. The hard part is the Dragon's Breath, which really I don't think is going to be that hard. Um, we don't have to beat the End Dragon, but we do need to be able to pick up the Dragon's Breath. When the, the Dragon does its like breath attack and puts all those part uh, purple particles on the floor, uh, we need to take an empty bottle and, uh, and pick those up. Now, I haven't checked, and so I'm actually not sure, but I have a sneaking suspicion that the, uh, that the End Dragon might have already been fought on... The server, we can make end cake, which is um, eye of ender, end two end two end crystals, and then end cake there. Uh, the end crystals require uh, another start, some glass panes, and some gas tears. I don't know. Actually, we got seven gas tears. Do we get gas tears from sifting soul sand? We totally do. Nice. Okay, I don't think we've actually done much soul sand sifting, but nevertheless, we should be able to go ahead and make two of those fairly easily, so long as we have all of the glass required, which I know that we definitely do. I think we've got like 2,000 glass uh, at the moment, which is very nice indeed. Good stuff. Uh, so that shouldn't make life too difficult. That should be the end cake ready to go. Now, right now, we're still using this hardened jetpack for flight, and we actually don't have any other armor on whatsoever. I think originally I did have diamond armor on, uh, but at this point, I don't have any armor whatsoever. Um, now, I'm not entirely certain whether or not, I can't put my uh, diamond chest part on either because we don't have uh, space. We've got the jetpack. Um, I have a feeling that the end dragon might still be there. We've done a few server restarts. And so I feel like I might actually have to fight the end dragon here. So I'm thinking, the, the first thing we should do, actually, uh, I was going to say, but I think my katana should be okay. Um, but one of the things that we should definitely do to make sure that it is enough is uh, throw on a little bit more nether quartz, you know, fill it up and uh, make use of all of the um, modifier slots that we uh, that we got when we fully built the uh, the sword here. So let me see if I've got any uh, any slots left here. I did put my freaking end chest, foolishly, right on top of my tool station. So let's move that, and then let me see here. How many slots do I have left? So... We're 134 out of 144, but do we also have modifiers remaining? It says modifiers four. I'm not quite sure how many modifiers um, we have left. Is that all of them? Yeah, no, we can put more on. We can put yet more on. Uh, what is the plan for today? The plan for today is to get into a little bit of Project E. I would like to hopefully get the energy condenser before the end of today's episode, because once we've got that, um, it should make life just a whole heck of a lot easier and doing some of the late game quests also uh, quite a bit easier. Do we still have yet more space? We totally do. I'm gonna just I'm just gonna fill up the remainder of the sword with more quartz just to make it as powerful as we can and try and deal as much damage. All right, so we have got now an attack of 16.9, uh, 09, and then 2.55 attack speed. So it's still, it attacks fairly quickly, actually. I'm quite happy about it. I think we're good, chat. I think we're good. I should, uh, I should make sure we have some armor. Uh, what armor do I wanna get? Do I wanna try and get some wyvern armor here, chat? Like, I'm looking at this, and I don't think it's going to be too hard, right? Like, we've got the Nether Stars, and so making the Wyvern Core is probably not too bad. The Draconian Mingots are super easy. Um, I did add all of the storage drawers to my scanner, and so now if I type in, for example, uh, Awakened Draconium, you can see it is uh, accessible, which is quite nice. And so I think it might not be a terrible idea, actually, just to try and get the full set of Wyvern armor. Now, I don't think... I mean, <laughs> on top of that, I don't know how expensive the Draconic armor is, the Draconic Armor does require that we go through uh, the Fusion Crafting. But then again, the Fusion Crafting is also not that difficult, right? So, I mean, it's definitely doable. So, you need, okay, you know what, chat? You know what I'll do? You need the Wyvern Armor to make the Draconium Armor. I think I'll start with the Wyvern Armor. We'll make this. We'll fight the End Dragon. We'll come back. We'll set up the Draconic Crafting because we need that in order to be able to... Um, to make the energy condenser anyway. And then once we've got that up and running, then we can upgrade our Wyvern armor to uh, the Awakened Draconium armor and then go on from there, right? But nevertheless, um, our armor is slowly being charged up, which is nice. It's wirelessly charged, of course, um, by our 
system over here, which is cool. Um, I'm going to give that a second here to fully charge up. I don't know how long that's going to take. It shouldn't take too long, I don't think. Uh, but once that's fully charged up, it does look cool as heck, doesn't it? I mean, look at this. That's quite a setup they've got going on there. Uh, but once this is fully charged up, we'll go through to the end, uh, potentially fight the dragon. If we can't fight the dragon, um, I believe we can make four end crystals and use that to resummon the dragon. Uh, we did spend two of these already, and we do, I think, still have um, at least four gas tiers. We do. We've got five. And so if the dragon has been fought, uh, we will have to resummon it anyway so that we can get that uh, that dragon's breath for the philosopher's stone recipe and so whilst i'm waiting for my stuff to charge up let's go ahead and quickly grab a couple of glass bottles uh, thankfully we already have some which is quite nice um it might also not be a bad idea just to get some bottles of end i can't remember what they're called bottles of is it this stuff here Ender Air Bottles. These are used uh, in a couple of Batania recipes, and so it might not be a bad idea uh, to get a few of those as well uh, whilst we're in the end. You get those by just right-clicking one shot in. It's fairly easy to get. And, uh, and so, yeah, you know what? Real quick, let me grab, like, let me just get a few more bottles. I mean, I, f I see no reason not to get multiple just in case we need them for uh, for other recipes, you know? Can I not? Can I not? How do you, how does, how does one eat the end cake? Do I need to, like, this is a different mod. Like in the in the old mod, it used to be that you would just you need to be hungry. Oh, oh! I played myself. I played myself. I just ate before. Oh wow. Okay, I'll run. I'll do some running and try and increase my hunger. You need to be hungry. Mm. It's an old requirement, really, isn't it? Is this Enderman still here? He is. Like he's not dying, which is weird. Like it, clearly, he's not taking damage from whatever's going on. <laughs> so I have no idea what what that's about. Uh, maybe grab a bow, Isaac. Like a standard bow or like a draconic bow? Because like, they, they do... Do they have draconic bows? Oh, yeah, they do have wyvern bows. Do I want to get a wyvern bow? Is that something I want to get? I mean, why not, right? I've never used it. I've never, really want, I've never really been one to use bows, honestly, but I can see why it would be a good investment in the, uh, <laughs> in the, in the nether. I do find myself often just chasing after the, the dragon for an extended period of time. You could get a Tinker's Construct laser. I do still want to get one. However, I don't want to work on one right now. Do I have a bow in my system? No, I need to make one. That's fine. That is A-OK. -okay. Drop that in. Grab a bow. Is this thing any good? I hope so. Do we have any arrows? Yeah, we got loads, right, in the uh, in the drawer downstairs. Nice. Put infinity on it? You mean like, hmm, uh, that is a good point. Infinity. I mean, we. <laughs> the thing is, I'm probably not going to use it that much like not enough anyway to warrant you doing it but then again it's also kind of like super easy with the uh, enchanter here i just need grains of infinity and lapis and a book so like there's really no reason not to do it right other than the fact that we don't have any of the items required to make a freaking book oh when you're making awakened draconium by you know, like you can get as much awakened draconium as you like and yet you still have to go and grow sugarcane every single time you want to make a book because you don't have paper on mass take damage it makes you get hungry quicker mm, okay if i still need to uh, if i'm still not hungry by the time we're ready i'll go and like jump in the smell tree or something or attack one of these endermen uh, also i think my sound is off it is yeah let me bump that up a little bit all right 19 is more than enough here right uh, so let's go ahead and quickly, first of all, dump my inventory, free up some space, uh, make sure that I have those bottles on me, I do, quickly craft up a little bit of paper, shouldn't be too difficult, he says, there we go, uh, give me a book, make it into a book and quill, which I need to do with black, actually we might have ink sacks to be honest, actually, I'm not quite sure, um, I think we might have those, but anyway, that will do just fine. And then what else do I need here? I need grains of infinity and lapis. Grains of infinity we have in abundance. Lapis we should also have in abundance. We do indeed good stuff. And so if we throw that together in our enchanter here, boom, 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 that gets it up to just infinity normal. There are no tiers to infinity, of course. Um, and then I don't know. Uh, of course, we have an anvil. We've used it in the past. Throw that guy down. Use just a one or two of our 4,362 levels. Kapow, kablammy. Uh, shoot em up is the name of our bow. All right. Cool. Okay, chat. I do need to take damage. 
Can you shoot? So is it like a vanilla thing that you can't shoot Enderman with boats, with projectiles? Excuse me? Is that like a vanilla mechanic that I just didn't know? Kill me. Well, don't kill me, but hit me. Hit me. Oh, my armor's doing too good of a job. Hit me. Don't, don't hit me that hard. I need to, I need to live, my friend. I'm putting this freaking armor back on. Jeez. Where's he gone? All right. I'm officially hungry again, which is good. I'm going to quickly cook up some apples. Oh, no, I've got cooked apples, actually. This is fine. All right. Here we go. He, 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 you good? He did. How the heck did you get that many levels? Um, I think it was a, um, like a stacking issue with my spawner. Like my spawner had a lot of experience orbs in it. Like it was chunk loaded. And then, uh, I just picked them all up. Also, we haven't died yet, which is quite nice. Um, also, M Slayer, I did see your, uh, donation now. We'll go and read that out in just a second after I have, uh, got into a, a safe location. Wow, this makes life so much easier. I've never... Fought, <laughs> this is going to be amazing, chat. I've never fought the end dragon with a bow before, and thus, like, I've never... I've always had to fly really close to these with my sword to, to destroy them. It is so much easier to take those out with a bow. Who would have thought? Where are your boots? Am I bootless at the minute? Let me... Lower down real quick. Uh, oh, yeah, I am. Look at that. Let's make sure we do Hey, 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 hey. There's no point me attacking you yet because you're not... You're not vulnerable. But give me a second here and you'll be freaking wishing you hadn't done that. All right. This should be a piece of cake, chat. This guy should not be a challenge whatsoever. We do, however, before we... Like, we need to kill him not too fast because we do need to get him to land and to, uh, to start spewing out... Oh, this thing, this thing, like the arrows do not drop at all, really, on this thing. I should probably just land, right? Like, it might be easier to do this from the ground. Yeah, come on. Land down here. Give me the, give me the, give me the, there we go. So we need him to throw, like, his fiery... Oh, gosh, he's so loud. That's what we need. It's this right here. I don't know if I'm getting it. I'm not. I'm getting the I'm getting the air balls. What? What? I'm getting I'm getting air bottles, not not dragon's breath. Sorry, I need I need dragon's breath. Could you a bit more please? Just a little bit a little bit more? No, okay. Hmm. Am I doing something wrong there, chat? Like am I am I am I messing that up somewhat? Hit the air, not the block. If I hit the air, I get the air. Like, if I just... Oh, okay. I'll give it... Okay, I'll try that again in a second here. Like, I thought you got the air by just hitting the air. But maybe not. No. Hey! I need to... <laughs> At least drop some breath if you're gonna... Oh, my goodness. Get back down here, piece of trash. Wow, this is so much easier, chat, when you've got a bow. That's it. Come on. There we go. All right. Now we can... Hit him with a... Oh, my gosh. I could see that peeking in the freaking... OBS window, my goodness. Okay, let me turn that. Why is that so loud? It was like 40%. There's no need for that to be so excessively loud. Did they crank the... Oh my goodness. I looked over OBS and it's like just the bars just red. Because it's dealing... It's just too... Too loud. I apologize to any... People with ears listening. My goodness. All right, this guy's dead. Excuse me, sir. I, uh, I would like you to die. There we go. Nice. Cool. 
Okay. So we got the stuff. Most of the stuff that we needed. Um, I don't think we need this heart, but I'll take it anyway. I'll drop some of those Supreme Essence because we don't need it. Uh, I don't know if we need this epic shader grab bag. Honestly, we definitely don't need the Infinity Booster card. We got about eight of those. Uh, some Dragon Scales, which I guess are nice to have. And then, do we get the heart? Or is it like, am I supposed to do something with that now? Oh, no, I do get the heart. Nice. Okay, cool. Cool, cool, cool. So, we have Dragon's Breath. We have Ender Air Bottles. Not quite sure if we need all of those. We're not going to watch the credits. Instead, we're going to try and finally get ourselves into a little bit of Project E. So... So, 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 so. Give it a second here, we'll stop burning. I'm still not quite sure why you're set on fire as soon as you, like, spawn in in, the, in this pack, but nevertheless, let me see here. So, Philosopher's Stone. If I want to make this guy, we need, of course, the End Star. I think we have everything we need here to go ahead and make that. We do indeed good stuff. Uh, then, if we go ahead and craft up a couple of blocks of Glowstone, a couple of blocks of Diamonds, and exactly one block worth of Enderpearl, and by Enderpearl, I've cost me an Emerald, we should be able to get ourselves... A Philosopher's Stone. Nice. So even on its own, this opens up quite a lot of uh, transmutation options. We can, of course, craft emeralds into diamonds. We can craft iron into ender pearls, um, and a bunch of other crafting recipes uh, that you can do uh, in and between those as well, which is quite nice. Um, we can go back for the egg, guys. We can go back for the egg. It's still going to be there when we head, when we go back. You know, if, if we need it, we can go take it. Uh, there's no need to... We don't have to... No, don't worry about it, chat, okay? Don't worry about it. We can go back. Uh, all right. So let me throw most of this away so now we've got the philosopher's stone we can look towards getting uh, the energy condenser right now to do this we need to get the alchemical chest the alchemical chest doesn't seem all that hard to make which is quite nice um and raise i think i'm much indeed as well for the extra 50 bits it's probably a whole heck of a lot as well uh, so let's see here alchemical chest requires stone it also requires a diamond lattice which is nice and easy to make i'll make a few just in case we need them in the future uh, we also need two evil infused iron ingots as well as a diamond chest the diamond chest here uh, might be the easier of the crafting recipes and so i think i'll make that first i'm still not quite sure why it puts refined iron uh, as like the default in that recipe but nevertheless if we just put normal iron in i think that should work out just as well it does good stuff uh, let's upgrade that to a gold chest and then let's upgrade that to a diamond chest uh, that's a is that a diamond chest it is and then do we need to upgrade it to a crystal chest no but uh, yeah these uh evil infused ingots are uh, a little tricky. They do require the enchanter. I've never made them before, but I'm assuming it's just this recipe in a specific machine. Uh, the machine required uh, is two diamonds, one machine block, uh, I think any book whatsoever, and then three iron ingots. Uh, to make any enchanted book, I should say, whatsoever, we'll go ahead and, of course, make another standard book. Upgrade that real quick to a book and quill. And then, like I said, I don't think it really matters what enchantment we put on that. And so I think for the time being, I'm just going to put infinity on it again. I don't have black die, excuse me. Oh, I just dropped it on the floor, that's why. There we go. Uh, yeah, we've already got Infinity ready to go. I guess we'll just put that on like that. And then do the same thing again here. So give me an Enchanter. But with Infinity. Nice. So I'm assuming this thing requires power. Let's go ahead and throw it down. For now, I think right about there. And then do I just throw in iron and nether stars to get this to work iron ingot 120,000 nether stars are oh we do have nether stars in the system i didn't think we did boom boom enchanter requires a full set of nearby bookshelves or other enchantment boosting blocks oh okay so other enchantment boosting boosting other enchantment boosting blocks what's the uh, the easiest way to do that then is the mana pylon the easiest way to do that I know these are usually uh, quite good at providing that kind of stuff. Would two mana pylons get the job done? Because that really shouldn't be too hard for us to do. Yes. Okay, cool. In that case, I don't want to use all my mana here, so let's just... Although, I say that. I think we've got a full mana pool downstairs, right? I think our tree farm setup does still have, yeah, mana pool full of mana. And so there's no shortage of mana really just yet. Transmutation tablet, the better ME system. It is, man, it is. We'll, we should be there, hopefully, in the not-too-distant future. Like, we're not there just yet, but we're not too far away, I don't think, from being able to get to a, a transmutation tablet. But nevertheless, Kapow and Kablammy. This thing does not work. Are these too close? Oh, have I got the wrong pylons? Do I need the, um, the other pylons?
There we go. They were indeed too close. So that is fairly slow. However, we do have an acceleration one that I assume does the same with this. And we'll hopefully produce... Oh yeah, look at that. That thing. It looks like it tanks through power, <laughs> which is why it might take a while here, but the acceleration one does in indeed rapidly increase the speed at which that works, which is very nice indeed. Uh, I'm going to leave that doing its thing and just let it keep running because we do, of course, need these uh, evil infused iron ingots uh, in order to make some future crafting recipes involving the uh, transmutation tablet here. We only need four of them, honestly. And so uh, really, I think the 32 that we've got is actually probably more than enough. Uh, but then again, we're not too short on... Uh, on nether stars or on ender pearls, uh, nether stars or on uh, iron ingots either, so that's fine as well. Uh, so we'll get rid of this stuff here, throw that back in, uh, back over to the condenser. What in the world were we working on? We were trying to make uh, the alchemical chest, of course, and I think actually we almost have everything that it takes here now. Um, all we need are the three tiers of covalence dust, low, medium, and high, uh, all of which are made uh, on the empowerer in this pack. Uh, the first one requiring double compressed cobblestone and redstone, the second one requiring a base essence ingot, and redstone. Might as well go ahead and make one of those real quick whilst we're at it. Like that, nice and easy. And then the third tier, what does that require? That requires coal and then an infused diamond, which is a diamond surrounded by dimensional shards from RF tools, which thankfully are craftable, which is nice because I think we have everything uh, in that required crafting chain, which makes life a whole heck of a lot easier. We don't have to actually go like to an RF tools dimension to get that, which is very nice indeed. So, what else do we need here? We needed just redstone, double compressed cobblestone, uh, redstone and essence, and then coal and the diamond. So grab some redstone, grab one bit of double compressed cobblestone, which we don't have, but should be able to make fairly easily. Like so. Uh, we do, of course, <laughs> have to get a bunch of single compressed cobblestone first. So let's grab nine of that and then double compress it up like so. And then we've got the essence ingot, uh, which is coal. Nice. This should be fairly easy. Um, I think, if I'm not mistaken, did I take the Empower away? Because I don't think it's up here, right? I think I replaced it with my... Um, uh, yeah, I replaced it with this. What the heck did I do with my Empower? Did I put it in like a chest or something? I definitely did have it. And then, kaboom, that gets us an Empower. And so we should... Be good to go. That should be able to get us all of the conveyance dust, which will get us the alchemical chest, which is not super useful on its own. It does have a few uses um, that you can use it for, but uh, most importantly, it's going to allow us to step one step closer towards getting the energy condenser, which is going to make our lives a whole heck of a lot easier, especially now that we can auto generate uh, the likes of Awakened Draconium, right? That's going to make it just so much better. Do you want to get one at a time? No, you get 40. Okay, cool. I was going to say, you used to get 40. I thought maybe you just got one there. Boom, boom, boom. Yeah, the, re the repair talisman is something you can uh, you can use the alchemical chest for. It's really the only thing that I know of that you can use it for. Um, what goes in the middle this time around it is, of course, the base ingot. Again, hopefully it won't take too long. I guess we could probably speed it up with this, right? If it wasn't so fast already. Uh, again, let me do like a quick inventory dump. Just get rid of some more stuff. And then finally, we need coal. We need... The diamond. Did I just put my coal away like a fool? One, two, three, four, and diamond. And kapow. Nice. I think the acceleration one does also speed that thing up, which is crazy. So, after all that is said and done, chat, we should now be able to go back to the energy condenser and get ourselves an alchemical chest. Nice. So that's kind of the easier part of it. Now we need to go up and take it one step further with the energy condenser itself. So uh, the crystal chest is the diamond chest, but surrounded by glass. Easy enough. Uh, the dirt chest 9000 is a standard vanilla chest surrounded by dirt. It's actually very easy if you happen to have a normal chest, which apparently we don't. Yeah, but that's fine. And then the dark matter and the red matter, which requires that we get uh, some of this Aeternalis fuel. Aeternalis fuel uh, is made from essentially coal. You go through a couple of tiers of it, but it's coal uh, crafted a few times over. And so essentially here, all we need to do is just craft really as much of this stuff as we humanly possibly can. So I'm going to put quite a bit of this in the system here, like quite a lot of my stuff, try and get clear some space in my inventory and see if we can't craft just a bunch of stacks of this stuff here. We do have like, what was it, 20,000 coal? Are we all out of coal? No. Did I just craft all of my coal out? Did I just use all of it? No. Did I just use all my coal? I just used all my coal. Hopefully that was enough. 
Cole? <laughs> Question mark? Uh, that was not. That was all of our. How much coal did we have? Did I burn through that much coal? All right, we got 61 Eternalis fuel. Do I have enough here, chat? I need four dark matter. And then some red matter. I need four red matter, which means I need 12, 16 dark matter. Oh boy. Eight. I can make six. Oh, I'm out of diamond blocks, of course. That's easy enough. Diamond blocks are not too difficult. We can do diamond blocks. I can do a lot of diamond blocks. That's fine. We do have a cold chicken. And so coal's not going to be difficult for us to get. I didn't make the cold chicken because I didn't think we'd need it, honestly. I can't even get eight. Oh my goodness. Oh. All right, I guess I guess we're out of coal. Okay, in that case, then, then uh, these are all the chickens that we had before. Let me quickly do a tiny bit of chicken breeding. Wasn't really what I planned on doing today, but it shouldn't take too long. And uh, once we have it, should make getting coal nice and easy. So just the same as before, do I have my acceleration wand? There is... <laughs> oh, wow. Oh, Ethereal Phoenix, where were you 10 minutes ago, man? Oh. <laughs> oh, it's okay. We'll, we'll cut that part out uh, in the YouTube edit, all right? The people on YouTube will never know of the mistakes that were made here today, chat. All right? Don't you worry about it. Not even a little bit. <laughs> All right. Uh, the thing is, like, as well, I bet that this uh, draw controller, is this, how far away is this from my uh, my core system? I think that might be out of reach of this. Like, I, I did scan again before the stream, but I think this might be too far away for it to connect. So let's just grab all of this coal and put it all, like, in the system so that I can use it in, uh, in crafting here. Uh, also, I guess we can just do, like, the crafting right away. Like this, we can just go straight in with the crafting. Uh, also, it's like my... It is. All right. So now that's taken care of, we should have, I think, enough alchemical coal here, thanks to all of the coal in our wither skeleton farm. It's crazy that we had more down there than we did from uh, sifting gravel. We sifted so much gravel. Uh, but nevertheless, we should now be able to go ahead and craft up... Uh, again, I should do it in here just because it's easier. Uh, get rid of all of this. I see you then, Ninja. Hiding behind my inventory. And then if we just craft up as much of this as we can, and then do the same again, this might not be enough, but I think we definitely do have enough coal now to make this work. So what did I say we needed? We needed nine more coal to make this happen. Nine more uh, dark matter, sorry, to make this happen. So do I have what it takes to make nine? I have what it takes to make six. Look at this guy. Uh, time to work on that refined storage slash AE system. I don't even know if we're going to is the thing. Like, I might just not set one up. Because I don't think we need to. Like, granted that refined storage and applied logistics are better than this RF tool scanning system that we have, it's also, like, not necessary. Like, once we get to the transmutation table, um, I don't think we're going to need it, really. Applied logistics is life, come on. It is. But I've also, I've used it so many times. Like, there was, like the number of times I've used Applied Energistics is insane, right? And so I kind of like the idea of playing through a pack without it, without using it at all. At least you got some sweet cold chickens out of it, so that's a plus. Yeah, that's a good, a good plus there. It means that in the future when we come back, we should have, uh, like, just a ton of coal ready to go, which is quite nice. Uh, so, yeah, let's go and, once again, see about crafting those up into more Eternalis Fuel. But only three dark matter away. And then, please, can I have some more? Nice. Okay, so we got three dark matter. Uh, we then do need more eight analysis fuel to make this work. Do I have what it takes to make four red matter? We don't. We get more eight analysis fuel shy. Jeez. I woefully underestimated the amount of coal required to make this energy condense. So I thought that it was going to be so much easier than this. Oh, my goodness. So this 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 should definitely be enough uh, eight analysis fuel to get us the final two bits of red matter. 
And now that that's taken care of, I think we should really be in the clear here. So we got our four dark matter. We've got our four red matter. All we need to get now is one crystal chest, one dirt chest, and then to actually set up the uh, the system for fusion crafting, which is quite the system. And we might run into a couple of issues with the amount of power that we're generating. Um, I get the feeling. Why can I not pull that uh, out? Am I experiencing some lag here? Potentially. But uh, we might not be producing enough power, and we might have to uh, break out the old nether star generator again to produce more power uh, in the future here. But for now, whilst we wait for the uh, server to give us the dark matter that we are that we are owed, uh, whilst we wait for that, we can look at uh, making ourselves a standard vanilla chest, like so, upgrading that to a dirt chest with incredible ease, like so. I think that's pretty much everything we need in order to get the energy condenser. We've also got the alchemical chest. So. Now what we need to do is we need to craft ourselves a fusion crafting core. For that, we need four blocks of lapis, four diamonds, and another draconic core. Uh, shouldn't be too difficult for us whatsoever. I'll craft a stack of lapis blocks just in case we need them in the future. We're not particularly low on lapis. I'm also going to craft up like a, a few of these draconic cores as well because I know we're going to need more of those uh, in a second here. That gets us the fusion crafting core. Now at the top here, it says tier draconic. And if we go over uh, to draconic evolution and we type in fusion, uh, you'll see there are four different tiers of fusion crafting injector and depending on which type of fusion crafting recipe you're doing you need different fusion crafting injectors for us we need the draconic fusion crafting injectors because it's a draconic tier craft now to get those you have to kind of go through each and every tier uh, in turn right so we need the wyvern uh, crafting injectors uh, we need the basic crafting injectors uh, and we need 10 of these draconic crafting injectors in total so we need to get 10 of these basic crafting injectors so 8 9 10 10 of those so to upgrade, so it's weird, right? Because to upgrade the basic tier fusion crafting injectors to the wyvern crafting injectors, you have to have fusion crafting injectors. And so we actually need 20 of these, not just 10, right? We need to have 20, eight, uh, 10 to do the actual craft and then 10 to upgrade to the next tier. So uh, the way this works is you throw down the fusion crafting core. Uh, in the center, really anywhere you like. I'm going to move the uh, runic altar for now. We don't need this thing uh, at the moment. I should also really move this chest full of chickens at some point. We don't need that either. Uh, these can really all be just destroyed at this point. Uh, but this goes in the middle. And then you place these fusion crafting injectors uh, around the fusion crafting core uh, within a certain distance. They don't need to be super close, but they also don't need to be uh, too far away. I think, oh, let's make sure they point inwards just for my sanity more than anything else. But uh, so long as they're within a certain block radius, which I'm pretty sure that these are definitely within. Uh, it should work just fine. One, two, three. Yeah, we'll do that. One, two, three. One, two, three. Is that right? Yeah. And then one, two, three. Like that. Cool. So those are them. <laughs> then we need to put in the middle, the item we want to upgrade. So in this case, we want to upgrade our basic fusion crafting injector uh, to a higher tier of fusion crafting injector. So we're going to put that in like that. It's going to appear in the middle there. Then we need to put the other items, so all of this stuff here, in the casing around the outside, right? So diamonds, we need to put in the wyvern core, the draconic cores, and the draconic, the draconic block. It's quite expensive. I think we can put all 10 of these in at once. Yeah, and I'm also fairly certain that we can do kind of all of this in bulk. Like if I get diamonds here and, uh, and we spread that out so that they're like, and we just like put 10 in at a time, I think I can put 10 diamonds like into there. Nice. So we essentially just need to fill in all of these with 10 of each item. And then it should just be a case of providing it with power and letting it do its thing. Hopefully. Uh, so it was four diamonds, which we have. One, two, three, four. Uh, then we also need... Oh, is my right click on? Okay. <laughs> then we also need uh, 10 blocks of draconium which we're going to have to get in a second because we don't have the draconium ingots right now, but that's fine. We're actually probably going to get that now, right? Because we don't have... I don't think we have any of this. I think we're like a, quite a bit shy on the draconium front. Uh, we did make draconium cores, though. Maybe we've got more of those. We've got 16. Uh, how many do we need? We need two. We need 20. So 16, not quite enough. We need to go get yet more draconium. But uh, for now, this should be enough draconium for at least the first tier of, uh, of craft, whether or not... We can get the rest of them done here is a different question. Uh, so let's see. Back over to the fusion crafting injectors. Uh, we need to get, we've got everything apart from the 10 wyvern cores, which means I need to get 40 of these. So 8, 16, 24, 32, 40. Nice. We then need to craft that up with all of our nether stars. I think most of our nether stars are in the end chest, which I have placed in here. 
Let's just throw it down like that for now. Grab some nether stars, make some room for some new nether stars, and then let us see about crafting up uh, 10 of these. Nice. So that should be pretty much everything. That should be all of the items we need for the craft, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, what am I missing? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, it's only eight. It's not 10. Ooh. So that's, that's, we do need 10 for the final tier though. Okay, that's fine. No way. Yeah, no, we do. Okay. <laughs> my, my brain broke for a second there. We do need 10 for the final tier, but we only need eight for this one. We only need eight, eight uh, pedestals to make the uh, the wyvern pedestals. So now that that's done, we need to provide power to all of the basic fusion crafting injectors. You don't provide power to the middle. You can see here it's, uh, it's ready to go. Um, and each one is going to require 256,000 redstone flux. So my first question is uh, energy conduits. Do we have enough? We've got these ones with maximum output of 640 redstone flux per tick. It's possible that we could make better versions, but I don't know if it's necessary, honestly. Like 640, uh, maybe it is a good idea, honestly, now that I think about it. Like we're producing more than 640 redstone flux per tick. And if we throw down our nether star generator, we're producing, you know, we're already producing a thousand with our current system. If we add the nether star generator that we have in on top of that, we're going to be producing uh, even more. And so we can make this thing a little bit faster here if we do upgrade to uh, some of the higher tier uh, conduits. Uh, how much electrical or uh, energetic alloy do we have? We've got four. Uh, we can make more fairly easily. It's uh, redstone, glowstone, and gold, right? If I'm not mistaken. It, redstone, yeah, it is indeed. Okay, cool. Uh, just use flux points on the back of each. The flux points are a little expensive though, man. But at the same time, I do like where your head's at. And actually, it's probably not too bad for us. We've got a lot of redstone. We've got a lot of ender pearls and blaze powder. I'm going to make like a, a stack of, of eyes of ender because we've got loads of them. And we're also making more through chickens and to our spawner. Uh, the only... Yeah, no, okay. Yeah, sure. Let's do it. This should be everything that we need. We connect that up to the Stink Cheese Network. And then so now, finally, if we come over here and we click start in the middle, it should begin charging up nice and quickly with all the power flowing through here, pulling out 106 RF per tick. I don't know if you can make that any quicker. Um, I am going to quickly here, first of all, uh, cook up some more apples so we've got more food uh, because we are a little low on hunger right now. And then I'm also going to grab that nether star generator as well as some of our nether stars and just add that to the system as well. Uh, we'll take like 32. We are going to take a bit of damage here. And so actually I would rather make sure that we have food before we go and put this down because we are going to take a little bit of damage. Those things should be pulling a lot more power. Uh, it's probably, yeah, like, like I said, right now we're, we're only pumping in like... The max we can pump in right now is 4,000 until we add more power to the system. Yup. Get out of there. Get out of there. All right. And there we go. We got ourselves our first thing. Ah, I see. So this is why this is why more... I'm taking damage. Oh, I'm taking damage from the, uh, the wither there. That should fade in a second here. Uh, but yeah, so essentially these charge up. It charges all the way up to 100, slowly but surely. And then when it hits 100... It begin, the balls begin slowly but surely moving in. And there you go, look at that. Uh, so it's, they're still only pulling 106. I'm not quite sure why. I would assume that we're pumping more into the system with the Nether Star Generator, but they're still only pulling out the same amount, which is odd. I'm not quite sure why. I guess there's also no way to speed up this part of the process, like the middle bit there. So once we've got these, uh, let's have a look here then. So the next thing we need is crafting injector. So I think I kind of get what Droid's saying here because he mentioned that we don't need, like we can pick up the crafting injectors as we go. So like, for, for example, we could put these Wyvern crafting injectors down uh, here and then build around like that. Because if we want to get to, obviously once we've got these 10 Wyvern crafting injectors, we need to upgrade those to draconic but to do that we have to have wyvern right so do we make 20 wyvern crafting injectors that's probably a bad idea right we probably make 11 and then just upgrade one at a time and move it around yeah that makes a lot more sense oh and use the acceleration wand of course can i use the acceleration wand on the power bit i guess not right but i can use the acceleration wand on the oh look at that okay so yeah okay 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 let's see then so hopper and 
redstone clock. So apparently, and also let's get the uh, axe real quick as well here, which I already have on me, question mark? Where the heck is my axe? I'm losing all of my, uh, all of my stuff today, chat. I have no idea. But there we go. That'll do. And then like that. So will that trigger that? No. Do I need to put the redstone clock on top, maybe? Is that like obstructing it or something? Yeah, okay, I see. I see. All right, this is done. Uh, there we go, 10, nice. Nice, nice, nice. So I guess we'll replace these. Um, yeah, I guess we need to make another one, right? We need to make an 11th one to uh, to rotate around. So before I do anything else, I should make one more wyvern one. I said before I do anything else, I could upgrade these and then make the extra one, right? Okay, kapow. So the first thing we need to do here, chat, is we need to go ahead and make one more fusion crafting injector. And this is where it's going to get a little bit more uh, tedious is because we have to make one and then go around and replace one at a time all the way around. So four diamonds, two draconic cores, one block of awakened draconium. Okay, so we'll start with the four diamonds. That is easy enough. One, two, three, four. You can change these, by the way, by default. They are on, uh, you'll see them in the bottom. Uh, well, it says mode inactive. Uh, you can change the mode to... Uh, sorry, it's a single item mode, active or inactive. Uh, if it's on single item, if it's single item mode inactive, like it is right now, it will take a full stack like that, um, which like in, in, the, in the case of what we're trying to do right now, in the case of trying to put one item in, is not great. If you shift right click and turn it to single item mode active, it will only take one item out of a stack instead of taking the whole stack, you know, in case you wanted to do just one craft at a time for whatever reason. Uh, but anyway, turn that off. What else do I need here? I need to get uh, two more of these. Like so. Boom and boom. And then we just need one with one core. Like so, which of course requires four more of these. Four and one. And then what are we missing? We are missing just a block of awakened draconium. Nice. Kapow. And that should be almost good to go. We, of course, have to actually make the uh, the core piece of the puzzle in the middle here, which is the fusion crafting injector itself, which does require yet one more draconic core. I'm going to make, like, just 16 of those, because I know we're going to need more in a second anyway. Kapow and Kablammy. Nice. Now realizing I didn't need to make another one, because I've got nine spare anyway, but that's fine. <laughs> that's fine. Okay, so now we can put this back in there. And we can start working on upgrading it to the next tier. So, as I mentioned, we need 20 Wyvern cores. Do we have enough Draconium to make 20 Wyvern cores? The answer is maybe, but I think probably the answer is no. So, let's get all of the Draconium out there, and let's see what we can make. So, if we're going to make 20 of these, 20 of these, uh, that means that we need uh, 80 of these. So, let's see here. Full stack, 60. That's like 78. 79. Oh, we're missing just a little bit of Draconian, but we're close, chat. We're close. Uh, that's what? 78, 79, 80. Nice. Okay. Uh, and so now that is all of the cores we need. I do believe we have enough nether stars to make this work. We do. Good stuff. Um, and so I think that's everything we need. I think we are good to go, chat. Uh, we need to throw down these guys across two separate injectors. Boom, and boom. Uh, we also need, what was it, four diamonds? Yeah. So we'll throw down the Awakened Draconian blocks on there. We'll grab 40 diamonds. Like so. And then, of course, spread those out. One, two, three, and four. And then, is that it? It is. Nice. So that really shouldn't take too much longer. Uh, would the watch of flowing time be faster? Yeah, I don't think we can make the watch of flowing time right now. It probably would be faster, uh, but to make it, we need... Uh, oh, no, we maybe could make this. Like, four dark matter? I'm not too sure. Possibly. Gives 18 bonus ticks to nearby blocks. Every tick, each tick... Nearby mob moves not put one times the speed. It's possible. I didn't realize the, uh, the watch of flowing time was so cheap. Like, but it is possible we could make that, yeah. So now I guess soon we have to... Yeah, we can just start replacing these. 
I guess we start with the ones that are not holding items. That seems like it would make the most sense. Either way, that is our 10th and final Draconic Fusion Crafting Injector. We don't have to do the uh, extra 11th one that we have. That one can just stay in our system for now. So, chat, we should be at the point where we can finally make our energy condenser. So, let us see here. Our chemical chest, we definitely have. I think it's in our system. Let's grab it. Let's throw it in. We need the dark matter, which we have. We need the red matter, which we also have. Um, I think it's like we need to separate these out, right? So it's one, two, three, four. And then one, two. Oh, again, got to separate those out. I keep forgetting. One, two, three, four. And then what else did I need here? I needed just the crystal chest and the dirt chest. The crystal chest we have on us. The dirt chest we have in our system. Now, this one does require a lot more power than the first one. It is working. And actually, it's even charging quickly as well. Like, is this just pulling more power? That's not pulling any power. Excuse me? <laughs> I have no idea how that's charging. Like, it doesn't seem like power is being pulled from this. I guess maybe they already have power in them. I'm not quite sure. Uh, but it's working. It does need 5 million redstone flux in order to craft this up. But we're already more than halfway there. We're already three quarters of the way there. And so we're getting there quite, quite quickly. You need to upgrade the infinity. Uh, oh, you need to upgrade the pack. The infinity is only 3.4 billion EMC. Ah, okay. But there we go. This is working. Again, we can acceleration wand. And kapow! Look at that. Chat, we have an energy condenser. So now we no longer have to oh my goodness the frame rate what the, the heck happened there like for a brief second the frame rate just tanked on me no longer do we have to make 50 of anything from now on all we have to do make one of something and then emc it to all heck like it, more electrical steel we can just throw it into here and get more electrical steel from our diamonds oh chat it is going to be so freaking nice all we gotta do is just throw things into the energy condenser and we can make whatever we want, which is really nice. Now to upgrade to the next tier of energy condenser, the energy, the Mark II, which is mostly just faster. Um, it does add some extra functionality in the, the split storage, but for the most part, uh, just acts as a faster energy condenser. Uh, it is a quite a bit more expensive, uh, requiring a fair bit of red matter here, as well as an antimatter relay, which is uh, also a little expensive in and of itself. Don't necessarily need that just yet, um, but we can make it as and when we like. Um, but yeah, so now we've got the, the energy condenser. The next thing that we really need to work towards getting is the transmutation table. So I think what we will probably start working on in the next stream is quite possibly, uh, because this is the recipe that we're looking towards, by the way, not the, uh, not the tablet just yet. Uh, but what we'll probably start working towards is maybe getting these HDPE sheets like i haven't done any mechanism at all yet we haven't even touched the mod um and so we'll probably jump into a little bit of mechanism start with that uh, see about getting some of these uh, hdpe sheets so we can make the rest of it uh, then we can look at getting into um the pixie dust here and then after that this really shouldn't be all too hard for us to get uh between episodes i will probably go ahead and uh fill in this other section here with more chickens you know i'll replace like this here with the uh with another compacting drawer uh maybe increase the storage size of these and maybe put down more chickens for resources that we need i might even just like make this whole other side here coal just because we need so much red matter and so much dark matter to get all that stuff um now make another condenser for a copy we totally could and again i might do between sessions there's no point me doing it here on stream you've seen me do it uh, i might make another one uh, just off camera just because it's easy enough to do um start on the neutronium uh, the neutronium collectors i don't know why my brain doesn't like saying it the word uh, start on the neutronium collectors because they take forever to generate how do these how do these work is it neutronium collectors oh boy look at that redstone quartz and then crystal matrix ingots that's not too bad how do these how do these work chat like do we have i, I could probably make this now right like this uh sure let's make the let's make the giant crafting table real quick i think i have it of nether stars we definitely do let me see here so to make the uh, extreme crafting table we need eight of these crystal matrix ingots um and for that we need uh, each one requires four so we'd like 32 of these diamond lattices 8 16 24 32 and then kapow and eight nice and then that gets us oh, we need a like a double compressed crafting table as well right yeah double compressed crafting table that also should not be too difficult for us to do that is not the correct crafting recipe for a crafting table though i would like this recipe right here 
We don't have the wood. Excuse me. I guess we're going back to basics here. We're going back to the very beginning. Can you do this? No. That would be too easy. That would be too easy. Uh, 81 collectors makes one ingot every five minutes. Oh, boy. Are the energy collectors able to be sped up through the power of uh, the acceleration wand? Don't you always have wood, Isaac? It's true, I do. Um, alas, the game does not accept my wood as, as legitimate, unfortunately, and thus I'm stuck in a, a sticky situation. All right. Give me double compressed crafting table, and that should be the very large crafting table, the extreme crafting table. Good to go. Nice. Guys, we have ascended to the next tier of Minecraft. We're now in a 9 by 9 crafting grid. Three times the size of the previous crafting grid. Holy heck. So, now we just need... Oh, there are some iron blocks as well. I thought these were all quartz. Um, I'm guessing any quartz block works here. So we just need iron blocks, quartz blocks, and then two, four, six, seven more crystal matrix ingots. We're not too low on diamonds, so I think we could probably get at least one of these neutronium collectors to see how this works. Uh, so what do I need here? I need like 28 of these. I'll make 32 again, just because it's easier. And then eight again, just because it's easier. And then redstone blocks, quartz blocks, and iron blocks. So first question, chat, that I have, it's a very important question. Can you shift click into this thing? If not, I'm going to be... Oh, you can. I'm so happy. He's done it. <laughs> you didn't used to be able to. That used to be a thing that you couldn't do. Okay, so how in the world does this work? Does it just... It says progress. Does it just produce neutronium ingots? Is that how that works? Oh, yeah, look at that. Ingots. <laughs> <laughs> I guess tiny piles, I guess then. It produces tiny piles. All right. That is actually not bad then. Like, looking at the crafting recipe for... So then, oh, so you got to put these in the, um, in the compressor to make it to turn them up to 11 to, like, get them to the next tier. Right? So you craft these. Oh, you craft them and then craft them and then use the... Right. Right, 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 right. I see. I see. So what do I need for the tab? The so I only need nuggets for the tablet. And how many nuggets do we need? We need, what, eight, 32 of these neutronium nuggets, which means we need, what, 32 times nine, 288 of these tiny piles. That's, like, we got three. <laughs> I feel like if I just go AFK with my wand for, like, 15 minutes between streams, I feel like I can probably get those pretty quickly, right? Uh, put it in a condenser and make stacks of it. I don't think you can make... Oh, make stacks of... Does the... Does this have an EMC? Oh, it totally does. I can make more nutrient, uh, neutron collectors. Nice. Like, yeah, okay, cool, sure. Yeah. We don't have that much EMC, I don't think, just yet. Um, and so what I... Like, we do have a, a fair amount of items that we could EMC, but I think what I'll do is... Between streams, I think I'll work on getting many more chickens, potentially, uh, filling these in. I'll probably also uh, try and get a few more magical crops going, because we do still have a lot of cloches down here that can be used uh, to produce, like, you know, diamonds or any kind of material that's that's high in EMC value. Um, and then we can make more nutri uh, neutron collectors to make more of this uh, neutronium dust, this, type, this pile of neutrons, um, and then compress that up. The compressor doesn't seem too difficult. It does require quite a lot of uh, neutronium ingots. So what does the compressor do? Does the compressor allow you to, like, auto-compress them? Is that how that works? Like, can you pump into the compressor? Like, the compressor doesn't seem to be on the recipe list here. I'm not quite sure. But anyway, it seems to be working. Also, I'm happy the acceleration one works. It makes it a little bit quicker, which is quite nice. The compressor makes singularities. Ah, okay, of course, that makes sense. So you put, like, in, like, a block of redstone or something if you want to make the, uh, the, singular the singularity for redstone, right? Like, yes, of course, I see. I see. Uh, what does input amount mean then? Like, is that how much? Oh, I have to put in 25,650 blocks of lapis to make one lapis singularity is how that works. And again, this is just like, it just takes a long time for it to happen. Okay. Okay. So, 
<laughs> the number of people in the Twitch chat who just... <laughs> oh, with A block, one block. <laughs> yeah, okay, so 25,000. 20, I see, I see, I see. A lot of, a lot of blocks go into making uh, the Neutronium, uh, to making the singularities. I see, I see. Uh, but that all really should be, uh, should be quite doable, honestly. Like, there's some time-consuming stuff there, uh, but if we can get more Neutron Collectors, and if we can get uh, more chickens, more magical crops, more everything making stuff, uh, getting those singularities and getting all that stuff, really shouldn't be too difficult to make. Um, and so really, as I mentioned before, the only like bit here that requires more work from us is the HDPE sheets because the rest of the stuff is kind of just crafting, right? The pixie dust also requires a bit of work because we've got to get uh, to the Elven Gateway core, but with the mana that we've got, that shouldn't really be, uh, be too far away. It's 25k for one singularity. Oh, I'm aware. I'm aware. <laughs> I am aware. Thankfully, like, I don't know. We don't need that many singularities, right? Like, we need one. We, we only need to make one infinity catalyst because then it has an EMC value. So we only need one of each singularity, I think, for anything. Like, I don't think these singularities are used for anything other than the infinity catalyst. So we only need one of each. And we only need, like, a few of the singularities anyway, right? Like, there's, what, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 singularities? in total it's a lot but like i think it's doable right and then we can just condense that using some emc generation that we have seven billion emc though apparently it's only like four billion emc if we update the pack apparently they they made it a bit easier in the next version of the pack but i'm sure we can find ways uh, to get a large amount of emc at some point in the future but yeah that's where we stand right now chat uh, but i'm gonna go ahead and wrap up there for today I <laughs>